See, I was invited, <laughs> I was invited to do a talk at my old school, right? I was invited because I'm an example, right? I'm an inspiration to these dweebs, right? I get invited. <laughs> And I thought it was going to be a laugh, right? But it was a serious talk. It's all the head boys, all the prefects with the badges, kids who would have been fucking finished at my time at school. Right, these. <laughs> the big pelm, you're on the head boy, Cav. Just want to say. And they were asking me questions, right? It was a QA. and I was like, all right, fucking better take this pretty serious. And the kid, he started off by asking me what kind of child I was at school. And I told him, I was honest, I told him I, I was quite a nervous child. I used to worry, I was anxious, I was overweight, I got called names, I got called fatty, fatty boom boom, chunk, chubba. <laughs> and the kid never laughed. He was deadly serious and he said, oh, oh, so fat shaming existed when you were at school. And that is when you realise how rapidly time is moving. I'm telling these kids about the 90s as though it was the fucking Victorian era. <laughs> He's asking me if people were fat shamed at school in the 90s. I'm fucking fat, you get fat shamed. You get skinny shamed, specky shamed, spotty shamed, ginger shamed, buck teeth shamed, dog breath shamed, big ears shamed. Your dad's an alky shamed. <laughs> Your mum would get it, shamed. <laughs> Adidas four strike trainers, shamed. <laughs> and you had to accept it or you got can I take a shaman shame. Oh. <laughs> it was part of the fucking curriculum in the 90s, taking a right good shaman. I used to get shamed every day. Fatty, chunk, chubba, I used to have to, having to do the thruffle shuffle in PE just to win over the crowd. <laughs> but there was always somebody, there was always somebody fatter than me. I sought comfort in that. There was somebody even fatter than me at school who never, ever got called Fatty Boom Boom because they were so fucking fat that anybody who mentioned it was committing a serious offence. Parents would be called to the school if you called this big fucking Eddie Stobart fatty boom boom. <laughs> this manatee was allowed to sit at the back of the classroom with nobody to comment, just big. <laughs> Literally, the elephant in the room here. <laughs> Sitting in French, the teacher thinks he's mastered the accent. Oh. <laughs> Me petit déjeuner. School, school could be brutal, right? Uh, I, I, I was anxious, right? I, I don't think I would be a comedian if I was not an anxious kid, because I would have passed my exams, right? I remember I used to, right? I remember forgetting how to spell the word who during an exam, because I get myself worked into such a frenzy about how much this exam was going to define my entire life. I'm writing this essay, I'm flying through it. He had wanted to know who, and I came to the word who, and I, I who, come on, Kev, fucking write who, man, come on, who, who? <laughs> who, who? How, the fuck, how the fuck do you spell who, who? H, H, is H in it? A, a W at the start is so far from your mind, right, well, it's definitely not going to be a W at the start because it's who, it's no who And then you start overthinking it and it's a downward spiral. Kev, you need to write who, mate. Come on, this is far too long to be spending on the word who. He had wanted to know who, who, H-O. Kev, that's going to be how. You need to write who. The guy never wanted to know how. He wanted to know who. Fucking write who, Kev. Kev, fucking who, mate. Come on, Kev. Everybody else is writing, Kev. Look at that exam clock. The minute hand's fucking accelerating, Kev. You're stuck on the word who. You're going to be a junkie, Kev. You're going to be a junkie. <laughs> Calm down, Kev. Get that voice out your head. You're going to be a junkie. Junkie, I'm not going to be a junkie. Fucking spell who then, junkie boy? Junkie, 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 junkie. Come on, Kev. Just fucking settle, down, mate. H. Right, you've got H. Right, let's get who. H O. You've got ho. You need to get U on the end of ho. So how could I make ho? He. H O E. That's a garden tool, junkie boy. <laughs> Fuck, 
is doing you no favours here. H O E H O O. He had wanted to know Ho Ho. Will fucking send you to a different school if you hand that in, Kev. He had wanted to know Ho. Is that what you want, Kev? Going fucking pheasant beating with Chrissy Schenkel every weekend. <laughs> By definition, right, I'm a millennial, right, but an older millennial. I, I'm probably, I, I can relate to both worlds, right? I've I seen, right, I still remember a, a childhood without the internet, right? No, you, I mean, you had to make up your own games. I'm probably the last generation who will remember a childhood without the internet, will remember having to learn how to be bored. Right, just go on a fucking walk, just being you, just picking a fucking leaf off a hedge and just crushing it, just go on a fucking walk. Just... <laughs> Making up your own games, picking up a stone and thinking to yourself, if I don't hit that cable box, my whole family are gonna die. Remember that game? <laughs> the happiest days of your life, just... Right, you missed it, Kev, best of three, come on. Owls. Your mum shouting you in for your dinner. I'm trying to save everybody's life here. <laughs> <laughs> but then I remember getting the internet at first. That was exciting, right? And it was just something that you plugged in, and then as soon as you unplugged it, it was gone, right? It never dominated people's social time, never ruined people's mental health. It was just the internet. You would go on it for an hour, sit on a chat room. We, we were the original vile online trolls. Sitting, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to an American guy. He, there's a guy in America, I'm sitting here and I'm talking to him. This is fucking amazing. You are a dick. <laughs> No, he's in America. I'm here. I just called him a dick. He fucking... The guy replied. The guy's replied. Where you at, motherfucker? Where you at? <laughs> I'm at your mum's house, mate. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking brilliant, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> MSN Messenger. Like, that was the very first... <laughs> That was the, that was the original social media, right? And that, that were easier days. Uh, yeah, if somebody asked you to send a photograph of yourself on MSN Messenger, sorry, I don't have a scanner. Right, it was simpler time. <laughs> you never had kids becoming image obsessed because only about 12 photographs of you existed in the 90s. You're not gonna send one of them to a girl you're talking to online. Uh, this is me and my dad on a pedalo in Mallorca. <laughs> An hour goes by, only 17% of the photograph has downloaded down the screen. <laughs> Trying to keep the conversation going whilst looking at the top 17% of you and your dad. Just don't. <laughs> your wee plastic tube round your neck where you kept your potatoes. Just... I'll send the rest later. My mum has to use the house phone. <laughs> <laughs>